Hi guys, this is Super Gamer, and yeah, this video was actually requested by Pointless Gamer, so I'm just gonna say that before I get into anything. But yeah, it's been a long time since I've recorded on my PC on a bandy cam. But yeah, the reason I've got like all this up is because my mic wasn't really working, and if it's not working for this video, then yeah, you guys are gonna see this. And, um, well, you're gonna see it anyway, but if you can hear me, then, yeah, just, just, this doesn't really matter. But, yeah. So, that's all the things you need. And then, step one, you're gonna just open up your internet browser, so I'm just gonna do that right now. Okay, so, I'm at the car what I want now, so, you're gonna just, yeah. Uh, find the car that you want once you get to the mod website so yeah and you're gonna look for the car that it replaces and this replaces the Alex Bugatti V1 you know I, I, need, I need to find a different file card because this one doesn't actually work okay so I found one that actually works and this replaces the Nice car so yeah, you just gotta keep that in mind. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download it. Okay, so step three, you wanna create a folder in your documents, and you wanna name it the vehicle that you've installed. And you, uh, in, in, no, right. Let's just pretend that never happened. You need to extract all the files from WinRAW into the folder for the car that you've installed. So I'm just gonna do that now. So it's got like all the textures and stuff. So for step 4 you want to create a link to your game directory. So if this hasn't worked already, if it hasn't came up, you want to just copy and paste it from your game directory. So then you want to you wanna check vehicle install from folder. And then you're going to want to open up that file. And then just copy the kind of link or whatever it's called. Then you want to paste it into here. And then you want to just hit next. And now this one doesn't work so I'm going to find another one that actually does work. Okay so I found one that works. So you're just going to hit next and I'll see which vehicle it's going to replace. So this one replaces the locust. So you're just going to hit next, and then there you go. So, yeah, we've done that step. So you just want to launch GE, basically. And then you want to open up your mod menu. Links in the description will be for that as well. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so I've got the vehicle mod ready. Now I'm just going to hit 5. And as you can see, it works. And I've now got this nice new BMW so I'm going to show you a couple of other vehicle mods that actually work so I'm just going to look for them I mean I've installed this uh, 4 Crown Victoria police mod so that's nice where's the other one? I think it's the furnace yeah this is my favourite one guys this is the ramp buggy from GE5 so yeah it looks really detailed it doesn't work as good as the one in GE5 but it does look exactly like it because I mean you can't really ramp them that much because of the physics but yeah that's it for this video and I hope you guys liked it I'll see you guys in the next one bye have a great time